In this video, we're going to go over how to remove the background image uh, from an image for use in Cricut Design Space or any other application, really, to use the, the, the image without having everything that's around it so that we have a complete cutout of the object that we want. And there's a couple of ways we can do this. Uh, in other videos, I've shown the Magic Eraser tool which will select one color when you click on it uh, and remove that one color from the from the image, either a contiguous color or all objects of that one color uh, from that particular image. The problem with that tool is there is a, a tolerance for shading and so forth when it gets down to the edge of the object. However, it doesn't, uh, it, it presents some problems when you have an image that's a little bit more complicated, like a photograph that has something in the background, such as a scene. Or in this case, we have some white space uh, that has some lines in the background, as well as uh, the asphalt below the vehicle, which is different shades of gray and, and black. And the Magic Eraser will not address that properly. It also probably erased some of the different pieces of the car because they're very closely blended as you cannot get the tolerance adjusted to a point to where it gives a good clean sweep clearing. So instead of the Magic Eraser, we're going to use the Lasso tool. And there are three different Lasso tools. One is a uh, uh, freeform Lasso tool that you can draw any shape with. Uh, it's just like using a pencil. Uh, so you hold down your mouse button and draw your shape and it'll close it up for you and, and you can get rid of that. Uh, the other lasso tool, uh, there's one I'll talk about the magnetic lasso tool first. Magnetic, magnetic lasso tool is really good if you have a really good defined edge between two colors. And when you use the ma magnetic lasso tool, as you drag it along that edge, it will try to pick up the very edge and adhere to it, as you can see what I'm doing now. The problem is, if it's not a real clear cut edge, it may not pick it up perfectly. As you can see uh, by the windshield and by the hood ornament, it kind of skipped over it and didn't, didn't pick it up properly. So the one that I use, like to use is the polygonal lasso tool. The polygonal lasso tool allows me to click in various places and draw very short or very long straight lines and uh, and completely surround an object and, and cut out uh, that one object or remove the background. Now the way I do this is I zoom in really close because uh, if you have uh, an object that has very close shading, you want to get that as close as possible. And I'll pick a good starting point like a uh, an intersection point. For example, maybe right here where the window uh, meets the back of the car. Each time you click, it will anchor the line. And the closer you are, especially on these curved edges, the more accurate it will look like that it's uh, selected. So you can't draw a uh, perfect circle with this, but if you zoom in on the circle and make very, very short lines that anchor to them, then it will appear to be a circle when you zoom back to full image. And of course, if you have a longer straight line, that's great because then you can get that one line with one click. And if I have a short rounded object, I might zoom in closer to make sure I get it as accurately as possible and it doesn't look too jagged when you zoom out. And I'll go completely around the object this way. Now I'll go ahead and complete this object and then come back to the video once I have it completed and close the uh, lasso in to show you what the next steps are. Okay, now that I've completely gone around the object and around the car, I'm pulling it down to the last uh, piece where it's going to meet where I started again. And you see me doing some things here with my mouse where I'm, I'm zoomed in so you don't see the whole object. And I'll get to the edge of the screen where I can't go any further. If I just drag my mouse off the screen, it will scroll in whatever direction I need it to go in. And if you use Control Plus and Control Minus, you can zoom in and out real easy. 
So I'll zoom in a little bit. We'll go down the back window here. And when I click here, and I double click, as you see, it forms a uh, kind of a dashed line around the entire object. Now, what I can do with this is I can go to edit, and I can do a cut or a copy, either one. If I do a cut, you see that it removes the entire object. And so I'll get rid of the layer that I was working with. And then I'll go back and I'll paste back in the part that I cut out. And you see that I have a perfectly clean object from the original image. And uh, if I remove the background here and save this as a PNG file, it will be a, a continuous uh, image without a background, a transparent background. And it will uh, be able to be used with print and cut. So you can print this out on printable vinyl or cardstock or any other material. And then use the print and cut feature of the Cricut to uh, do an exact cut around the very edges of, it, of this object for application in your project. I hope this has been helpful to someone. If you uh, enjoyed the video, be sure to click like, subscribe, and share and appreciate you taking time to watch.